Greetings from YouTube. Hello. I am once again wearing my weapons hat because once again I am going to be talking about weapons. This will be the third and semi-final part of my sort of kind of series about weapons laws and why the current situation makes me want to go like this. Ah, the dumb, it hurts so bad. However, as you can see, I am not going like that. I am talking about it. Now. I s now, I say this is the semi-final part of this series because if you disagree with me, leave comments below and I will address them. Possibly in another video. Possibly just comment by comment. Probably in another video. Because at some point I will end up with not having enough video ideas because... That's just going to happen at some point, probably. Now, before I continue on with talking about what I think would be some reasonable weapon laws, there are two comments that I will address. The first comment I would like to address is one made by my good friend Nate Landon, who made the point that we might want to have some better protection than just martial arts if some idiot decided to bring an assault rifle to a school. And I understand where he's coming from, but the solution is definitely not giving teachers guns. Because although giving teachers guns sounds like a good idea, then the person doesn't, then the crazy person doesn't have to get the weapon into school. He just has to get the weapon from the teacher. And while that sounds like it might be difficult, it's definitely not going to be more difficult than bringing the weapon to school. Like, yes, the teacher could wrestle him or her for the weapon. There might be like fireproof, bulletproof, whatever proof glass. But that just means they have to be smart about it and wait for the... Wait, did I say smart? Scratch that. Not smart. Because if they're doing this, they are clearly dumb and stupid and evil and crazy. Maybe not evil, but definitely crazy and psycho and probably not smart. Crafty, maybe. Let's go with crafty. They will have to be crafty to get the weapon away from the teacher, but they can still do it pretty f logically. Or they could still do it if they used a little bit of logic and waited for the teacher to be out of the room and then took a chair and went smash, or maybe a bat and go smash to the glass that the gun is hiding behind, or whatever. To get the gun, and then they have the gun. So we don't want guns in schools, because then the gun is already in school. So, scratch that idea. But in that comment, Nate also suggested looking into certain non-lethal self-defense techniques or devices. Devices. And there are some like this. I mean, there are bullets designed for use in crowd control. They're just rubber bullets where normal bullets would have been. Not lethal, unless you get hit in a really soft spot like the eye. But to my understanding, mostly non-lethal. And it would be very hard for the person who gets their hands on that to kill a whole bunch of people. And there are also some other strange things, some of less certain humaneness than others, but if we're defending a school, we probably don't care about that much. Such as pain guns. Yes, they exist. It's basically like, from my understanding, a rather intense UV laser. It just goes beep and gives you a substantial sunburn right where it hits, and that hurts. 
So that would probably disable someone who gets their gun and brings it to school. And yeah, I mean, that could work. Things like that could work. I'm not sure if they would work, but maybe they would. It's a possibility. But there are definitely problems with it that would have to be thought out thoroughly, and which I don't particularly feel like thinking out right now. But if you have a good argument one way or another on that issue, leave it in the comments. But yeah. I mean, we definitely do want to defend our schools, but having guns in them already is a really bad idea. The second comment I got will be shown here. As you can see, it is by someone named Future Career. I'm going to have to interrogate this person pretty thoroughly before I'm convinced they are an actual career from the future, but who knows, maybe. I mean, I am a time-traveling 1% alien who has theoretically the power to destroy an entire planet, but don't use it because if I do, then I... If I start using it, then I could very easily get out of control and then blow up the entire planet. So, you know, I stick with the non-magic. So yeah, I am not immediately discounting future Greer being a Greer from the future. Maybe not even this Greer from the future. I mean, there have been other Greers. Because I have been cloned multiple times, and that's a whole nother story that I'm not getting into right now. But yeah, as you might have seen when reading the comment, he said that, yes, guns are substantially lethal. And I did kind of gloss over the fact that they are pretty lethal. I mean, once you know what you're doing with one, you can kill a whole bunch of people. It's just that the people who don't know what they're doing with one could probably kill more with a knife. I mean, no one really uses knives for mass murders, so it's not really possible to do either a study or an experiment. We certainly don't want to do an experiment, and that would be kind of a gruesome scientific study as well that I wouldn't really want to think about doing. I definitely would not want to be the one doing it myself. But, yes, guns are lethal. Once you are trained and know what you're doing, and I certainly do not know what, I do, what I'm doing, but I know plenty of people who do know what they're doing when they're using guns. And yes, there, there is a reason why it is used primarily in hunting and in military situations, because it is useful and effective. You just need to know what you're doing first. <laughs> 